Nicole, I'm Dr. Kara Fitzgerald, and I'm going to be looking at your nails, your fingernails, and your toenails. Okay. Nails actually can tell us quite a bit about our state of health. So let's take a look at yours and see what we see. First, I'm going to look at the shape. And you can see yours are a lovely curvilinear shape. Nice shape to the, disc, the, the nail bite. Look at the color. They're pink. I see we have a nice cuticle. And at the base of the nail, we see this little half moon called the lunula. The lunula is present on most of your nails. I see it's actually missing on this guy and on your pinky. It's normally absent on the pinky, but it should be here on your fourth digit. So. A missing lunula might suggest we need a little bit more protein. The nail strength also can give us insight to our protein status. Look for nice strong nails that aren't readily bendable. You can see that a couple of your nails are perhaps a little bit more flexible than I would like to see. So this really suggests to me that we want to do some more protein. Tell me what you had for breakfast today. Um, I had crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. So you had a little bit of protein, probably more fat. But So we're, we'll look at it closely and see what you're taking in. Now I'm looking at the texture of the nails. You can see on the thumb, if you run your finger over it, you can feel these vertical ridges. You can see them and you can actually feel them a little bit. Very mild. Vertical ridging is present in most of us particularly as we get older. But vertical ridging can also suggest, you might guess, that we need protein insufficiency or inadequate protein intake. Now, I just want to assure you that some people have very severe ridging, and yours is extremely mild, OK? So this is not high on my concern but list, but I know we can just dial it in for you and make it better. Vertical ridging can also suggest a need for increased minerals such as zinc. Now let me just compare our hands. So yeah, we can see the same kind of ridging here. And the same flexibility in some of the nails in the absence of the lunula. Your hands are a little on the cold side. Do they tend to run cold? Mm -hmm. If I check your capillary refill by just pressing down on the nail bed until it lands and then releasing, it's a little bit slow. So we're going to recommend some things to warm you up. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to look at your feet. I should be see the same kinds of things in your feet that I'm noticing in the hands, and indeed, here's the ridging that we saw. I also see that your feet are quite dry, so we might consider a little bit, a little bit of fatty acids, and you know maybe some water. Checking the capillary refill, just checking your circulation. It looks, it looks good, but they're a little, they're on the cold side. On the whole, though, your feet look quite good. Okay, Nicole, thank you.